Aaron, how brutal were the conditions out there? Did you feel like the field was unplayable? Yeah, I mean, the last two innings or so was pretty bad. Um, you know, puddles were were forming, you know, like uh, when we had the bases loaded, that line drive that uh, Doogie hit, that Chafin caught, like, you know, I know even Allen came in and was like, it's pretty bad, at, like, the puddles and stuff, the, the the ground ball hit to Volpe was kind of in and around a puddle, you know, so <clears throat> watching guys move down the line, it was rough, bless you. Um, just, yeah, it was, it was not great. You mentioned that seventh inning, Juan Soto once again coming up big for you guys. What do you think makes him so good in those situations? I mean, I think in any situation, but <clears throat> um, he's as, about as good as it gets, so... But I think there's no question, like, he loves being in that moment, in that situation. You know, Chafin's a really tough lefty, obviously. Um, just got himself into a good count, and and that's who he is as a hitter then. You know, he's got that ability to do that. But, you know, I don't know if there's another level of focus because he's – it feels like every at-bat he takes is, is that battle. But, um, you know, that's who he is. What would you think of Nestor today? And that, I thought Nestor was really good. Um, you know, probably not his best fastball, but uh, I thought he was really sharp. You know, he had command. Um, I thought the fastball improved as we went. Um, the cutter, sweeper, th threw a couple really good change-ups in there too even. Um, so, yeah, good start. Susan. Uh, just to be clear, the tarp was on the field because it was unplayable, not because there was rain coming. Correct. Okay. Was there ever a chance that you were going to start this again? Uh, I didn't think so, but, I, you know, I didn't get the word until 10 minutes ago. So. Zach. How, how big was this weekend, you know, against a team that obviously pitches well and was playing well? I think they had won four straight series. Yeah. And you're coming off the Orioles. How significant was it, especially with what some of the things you guys did offensively? Yeah. I mean, look, wins are precious in this league, and anytime you can sweep a club, you know, especially, you know, like you said, a team that came in playing really well and that pitches as well as they do and they got their ace going today who you know is going to be a load. Um, yeah, it's really good to, to, you know, shake hands three times into an off day. Uh, you know, it does a lot for the soul. <laughs> um, but, but you know, it, any time of year, wins are precious and to be able to, to sweep a sweep a team is um, is great, Dave. Yeah, and we talk about Soto's like mastery of the strike zone and how tight he watches that. But it, on that double, it looked like he just he there was a pitch that was below the strike zone, but it was one that he felt he could do damage with. So he wanted to kind of get the job done there. Do you kind of see him just being an attack attack mode in some of those situations too? Um, I don't know. He just felt so in control in that at bat to me. I mean, he does a lot, of course, but. The whole at bat, I just felt like he was in in com in command. I think he missed below the zone twice, probably a borderline at the knees on one. So I think I believe it was a two one count, and then uh, just a just a great swing where he's in the in the strike zone with his with his barrel for so long off a, again a tough lefty in that situation. So just a really good swing in that spot, Chris. I know we ask you at least once a series, but do you feel like judges' timing is where you guys want it to be? <laughs> Look, I thought, you know, I thought, obviously, I thought he swung the bat great today. Um, I thought last night, you know, after a couple hits, I actually thought that I think he, the bat he struck out, I thought he got a lot of really good swings off where, man, he looked in control of the at bat, just, you know, happened to miss a pitch, but, but I, you know, so I do feel like he's he's looking, you know, looking better to me. Um, but, you know, he's still working to get all the way there. Here, Peter and Michelle. Just what was kind of your reaction to Judge hitting a home run in his first at bat after yesterday? <clears throat> it was good to see. Obviously, again, with Scooble going, um, you know, you know it's going to be a challenge. So every run is precious, and every time you can – you know, dent the scoreboard, and you know we were able to get to him a little bit early. Had a chance to even get get another one there, but weren't able to finish off a really good rally there, where Cabrera hit, did a good job uh, punching the ball down the right field line. So, uh, 
it was a great way to start the the afternoon you know going up against their ace what did you think of ian today um a little you know, still still searching for it a little bit to get to that point to where man it's ian where it's you know command of the two two and four seam and then the and then the slombio like <clears throat> still just not all the way when he's really locked in and going um so but that's also partly the conditions too i think everyone that came in it was a challenge you know their side included um for our guys just dealing with the conditions a little bit tough um so you know he's still working through it a little bit um got a big out probably got a double play ball on a normal day but you know weather didn't really permit it to to happen today so um not his best but uh he's getting there that was actually part of my follow-up question did you think that weather played hugely into the pitching on both sides i i maybe i think it was becoming an issue there late yes 